Hello, welcome back. I thought it would be a cool idea to make a comparison video between the Montblanc 146 and the Pelican M800. Yesterday, I made a comparison video between the Montblanc 146 and the Pilot Custom 823. So let's get, let's get started. I keep them in my Pilot Pensemble roll where my ink pens are. Uh, take this away. Here we have the two pens. They're pretty much both very classy pens, black and gold trim, and everyone knows the Mont Blanc snowcap logo, the Pelican, the Mount Pelican, and the little chick. They're both very classic pens. Let's get started with just how they match up. In terms of length, they're when they're both capped, they're pretty much the same length. And it seems that as though the Pelican 800 is slightly girtier in terms of the cap itself, but I feel like the body is pretty much the same girt. Now let's compare when they're uncapped. When they are uncapped, they, the Pelican 800 has a bigger nib and it's slightly longer. So it is, let's see, the nib is bigger. Both of the nibs are very gorgeous to look at. And the nib sections seems as though uh, this tapers more than the Mont Blanc 146. It's a straight up. And in terms of the area right here, this is a little bit grayer than the, the Pelican 800, but they're both uh, very comfortable to hold, especially the especially the Pelican 800 because of this this like tapering down, tapering up. And this is a medium nib, the Mont Blanc medium nib, compared to also a medium Pelican M800. This is a monotone nib, this is a two-tone nib, which is gorgeous. This is an 18-carat nib, and this is a 14-carat nib. So this is a 1970s 1.146, and this is a newer version. So you could also tell based on the ink window, it's not as striated ink window as the newer 1.146 comes in, whereas this one is also the same ink window, it's hard to see in this through the camera, but there is also same similar ink window. They're both very small, but they do work tremendously well. Okay, so both of these pens can be capped. They cap very securely. I don't cap my pens, but in terms of the length, the Pelican 800 is bigger and, and longer. And when holding them, they're balanced because they're both made of resin. So this is a really balanced hold. And so is the Mont Blanc 146. When you hold it, it feels balanced. I feel like the Mont Blanc 146 feels more balanced because it's smaller and has less in capacity, I feel like, than the Pelican 800. Now, let's get into the mechanisms. So they're both uh, piston failures. So uh, you could look up how pistons work, but basically you unscrew, then you put the feet into the ink, then you shut it off, screw again backwards, then it just fills up. Basically a cartridge converter built into a pen. So they both hold quite a bit of ink. Uh, I found that Pelican 800 holds more ink and I feel like it has a bigger body, which has more to do with it, but they both hold great amount of ink. So ink capacity shouldn't be a problem. And let's get into what matters the most, which is the writing sample.
Okay. Oh, before I forget, let's just compare the prices. So the Pelican 800, I bought, I bought both of these used. I bought the Pelican M800 for about $200. And I got the Bump Block 146. This is the 1970s version. I got this for $250. So it was more expensive to get this than this. But in terms of the value on the market, so if you want to get brand new, say from Amazon, let's compare. It goes for $500, $600. This goes for about 300 so it's like, this is about twice the price of this, just so you know. Now let's get into the writing sample. Let's get started with the month one forty six first. Okay, so this is Jazz Blue Ink from Mont Blanc. They're both very smooth, and this is a smooth nib. Okay. There is slight line variation with this because this is in 1970s it has is more softer and springier than the current versions. But this is a joy to write with as well. I am not sure exactly how the, the current versions feel because they're the 18 carats compared to the 14 carat of this. I've heard that I've tried one of them and it feels a lot stiff, stiffer than this one. This is a it's not as rigid, it's more softer than the current, stiffer and rigider nibs of Mont Blanc 146. Okay, so let's get into now the Pelican. Okay, it's also a medium nib. The ink is Pelican 4001 Royal Blue. Oops, that was just me on my part. It wasn't the nib because uh, previous owner was left-handed. So they kind of, I feel like you had to hold a certain angle. So it's not the fault of the nib. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not holding it right, but yeah. Trying to write, looking through the camera is, okay. So, so yeah, the, this is also very smooth. Feel as though the Pelican 800, this is a this is more rigid than the Mont Blanc 146, and this is there's not really much there's some line variation, but it's not as much as the Mont Blanc 146, the 1970s version, and this is however I feel as though it's smoother than this one. The Pelican 800 nibs are very smooth. Like a very, very smooth nibs. So yeah, in terms of writing sample, they're both great pens to write with and you can't go wrong with either of them. And if I had to recommend between the two, just comes down to preference, but I would go with M800 because it's twice as cheaper than this. If you buy them used like I did, then I think you could just go either way. But yeah, 
feel as if these are both great pens and I think anyone will enjoy them.